In the South Atlantic, approximately 300 miles east of Argentina's coast, lie the Falkland Islands. The territory was claimed by both Britain and Argentina since the early 19th century. On April 2nd, 1982, Argentina invaded the islands, triggering what became known as the Falklands War. Argentinian immigrant arrived in the United States after the Falkland War. Argentina officially surrendered to Britain on June 14, 1982. Tell me you passed out again. Hey, 
Wake up. <coughs> Fuego. I want you to meet someone. We've met. Hmm? I just want to thank you personally for what you have done for me. Without your help, none of this, this would have been possible. Hmm? So this information you gave us will make my story Complete. And so, thank you. <coughs> Ripper, have your men clean this up and find the others. And Ripper, save Riviera for last. I mean, this is like, what happened? He was in a fight today. A fight? Dad, I... What did I tell you about fighting? Hector, please. Now, what you were thinking? What is all this about? Tommy Reinhardt said that I liked Kelly Watterson in front of the whole class. And then people started to believe him. Guess I'll get that. You two talk this out. And you think that's a good reason to fight? Besides, I thought you did like Kelly Watterson. No, I liked Kelly Peters. And that was last year. Now, what's the difference? Maybe this Kelly lied you too. Maybe Tommy Rainhair was just trying to help you out. Dad, Kelly Watterson's a guy. She, she is? Yeah. Honey, Mr. Reinhardt's at the door. All right, I'll be right there. Look, why don't you calm down? They just got into a fight. That's all kids do that, you know? Hey, your kid maybe, but not mine. Well, I'm sure that's true. Hey, but... hey, hey, what are you saying? My kid asked for it, Rivera? Is that what you're saying? Riviera. I not at all. I'm just saying that the things happen. Look, when you were a kid, you, you never got into a fight? Oh, like father, like son. Oh, yeah. You got a major attitude problem, mister. I'll tell you what the real problem is. The problem is your kid's a wuss. He can't take a little teasing from his classmates. How's he gonna survive in the real world? Look, why don't you come Hey, down why don't you and I settle this? Right here, right now. Look, I'm not gonna fight you. This is ridiculous. Why don't you come in, have some coffee cake, bring your wife, we make an evening out of this. What'd you say, huh? You bastard. Come on, Jonathan. Come on, man. Come on, man, we're friends. Why don't you eat? Eat your dinner, okay? <sighs> this is useless. He doesn't want to talk. He refuses to. Come on, sweetie, what's wrong? Don't call me that, Jonathan. Just talk to us. Tommy's dad called me names and came over to beat me up. And dad didn't do anything. 
Jonathan, Mr. Reinhardt, is a bully, and so is his son. And he didn't want to beat you up. He just wanted mouth off in front of everybody. Now you think that I will let him or anybody else hurt you? Yeah, right. Hector, you didn't tell me any of this. Now what happened out there? Nothing. You know how people are. They think they have to prove something to the world. Well, he looks upset. What did Mr. Reinhardt say? Nothing worth discussing at the dinner table, okay? He called me a wuss, and Dad invited him in for coffee cake. You did? Well, yes, of course. I mean, I was trying to turn his anger away, and it worked. He went home. He might have seen the ugliness in his heart, and it changed him. Somehow. That doesn't sound like Mr. Reinhardt at all. Is that all you said? Yes. You know what? He's probably talking the whole thing over with his wife right now, and we're discussing his it. His wife? Yes. I invite her, too. Hector, his wife died last year. She did? Mm -hmm. Well, that probably wasn't the best thing for me to say, huh? Jonathan, did he say anything else? No. Just wuss. Now I see where I get it from. Don't worry about it, okay? I'm, I'm, God, I guess I'm gonna go talk to him. Mi vida, ¿quiere divertirte? No me interesa. Maricón. Mira, no me... John, let's talk about this, okay? Okay. What would you like to have happened today? I don't know. I just wish... Wish what? I wish you would have stood up for me. I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> so believe me when I tell you that I did. There's more than one way to stand up for loved ones. You think you'd be happy if I punch him in the face? Well, it would have been better than inviting him in for coffee cake. <laughs> Not really. I mean, if, if, if I fought him, if I physically fought him, and I beat him up, now how do you think his son is going to feel? Who cares? Come on, man. I'm talking to you. I don't know. Mad. That's I guess. right. That's right, that's right. The same way you will feel if I got hurt in a fight. And you know what? what? If I got hurt doing something stupid like that, and I couldn't take care of you and your mom, I would just never forgive myself. Now I know Mr. Reinhardt feels the same way about his son. He was just not thinking about that. He let anger cloud his judgment. So I have to think for him. Hector, telephone. Come on, let's go. Okay. Thank you, baby. Hello. <laughs> so, what are you guys talk about? Nothing. No. Just guy stuff. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> So how's your cut? It's doing a lot better. Good. Doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> so, who was that on the phone? I didn't recognize the voice. Well, that was Tomas, an old friend of mine from Argentina. 
She's in town now. Well, you don't seem too excited. Well, I haven't talked to Tomas in a long time and he sounds pretty serious. He told me he wants to meet me at a place called Superfoot tomorrow. He said he got something very important to tell me. Superfoot, huh? Yeah, sounds pretty important. <laughs> oh, come on. Am I gonna have to take your eyesight to that? I've been here in a long time. It's me, Tomas. Tomas, man. What the hell are you sneaking on my back like that for? I thought I'd get the jump on you, but age apparently has no effect on you, my friend. Yeah, right. Como estas? Bien. Good. Shut up and buy me a drink then. Yeah, for what? Not killing me? Hey, Bill. <laughs> Pretty smoky, huh? Yeah, I had a no smoking sign off over there, but they burn it down. What can I do for you? Scotch. Scotch? I'll have a glass of water. <laughs> Been a long time, man, huh? Seeing you here since, uh, how can I say? Out of context. Exactly. You feel the same way, huh? No, not really. I know you, Hector. You can't get over old things, man. Leave the past in the past. Forget about it. One scotch, one water. Got a twist of lemon in it for you to help take the edge off of it. <sighs> Thanks. Pretty rough crowd today, huh? Not really. What is this important news of how you travel all over the world to tell? You didn't hear about the guys? The guys? Our guys from Falkland. They're all dead, man. How? They're all killed, execution style. Tomas, why in the hell are you packing, man? I told you, man, protection. You know about the guys. It's like we're being hunted down or something. Oh, man. Don't you think you're being a little paranoid here? Don't you think it's a little coincidental that we all fought together in the same war? The war been over for years. Me and my amigos here, we're just discussing how much we hate Mexicans. Isn't that right? Si, si, si. Well, you see, we're from Argentina, actually. What the hell's the difference? Look, you guys, we don't want any trouble, okay? You came to the wrong country for that. Yeah, why don't you go home? Yeah, he's right. We gotta take out these punks. Hey, listen, you inbred piece of trash. Look, I'm so sorry, okay? Take it easy, take it easy. I'm trying to run a business here. Shut up, Pops. Brito here wants a piece of me. You're drunk. Let me help you. I'm the one right here in the middle. <laughs> Damn. Time to clean up. Again. policy in my bar. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. So, does anybody else have a problem with my no-hitting with bottles policy? Yeah, I guess you guys want to play a little pool, huh? So let's play.
So, not too rough tonight, huh? <laughs> Should see this place during happy hour. <laughs> I found Riviera. He's good. Do you want me to take him now or? Play with him later. For now, just wait. Hey, Bill. Yeah. I'm so sorry about this, man. Mm. Muchas gracias. Hey, Hector, let's get out of here, huh? Hey, I got a question for you. What? What is it with that shirt? Why? You don't like it? Buenos Aires, querido, cuando yo te vuelvo a ver, no habrá más penas. Have a good time. Honey, you are. Did you get into a fight? Well, yes. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't hear in the news. It was like World War III out there. <laughs> I don't believe this. You go out drinking with a buddy and you get into a bar fight? Not one day after you lectured our son about fighting at school. Yeah, we'll see what happened is... Well, so what is this important news anyway? Well, that's what I'm trying to say. See, Tomas, he, Wait, my friend... Hector, just tell me in the morning. I hate it when that happens. I'm so mad at you, Hector. Yeah, I notice. But you know what? I, I didn't mean for all this to happen. I know you didn't, but you have to start thinking these things through. How is this going to look to Jonathan if he finds out about tonight? You know, you're right. But you know what? I, I just never seem to win. I back down to Mr. Reinhardt. My son gets mad at me. I stand up for my friends. My wife gets mad at me. You had to back down to Reinhardt? Yes, I did. Must have been kind of hard with Jonathan watching. Well, to tell you the truth, that make it easier. You know, I don't know, I just try for things to be right. But the more I try, the more everything goes wrong. And just when I'm thinking about giving up, I look at Jonathan, you know? When he sleeps at night, and I got this feeling inside. And I can't let him down, you know? No way I'm gonna fail, no way. I'll do anything for him. I'll, I'll die for him if I have to. I'll die for you. You guys are everything I have. You know, when I was in the Islas Malvinas, Everybody keep on calling them the Falkland Islands. <laughs> and you know I hate that, right? But anyway, when I was there, one night, uh, with all my friends, we were talking about things we're gonna do, dreams that we have. You know, we're just teenagers in a world. 
and we thought we were winning the war, you know? But that night, when I wake up in the middle of the night, I saw all my friends dead. And it was blood all over the place. The Gurkhas came in and killed everybody. There were only six of us alive. We didn't know what to do, we just ran. And that feeling of running, not be able to help the people that you love, the feeling is with me. And I'm just so scared. Honey, I know you're worried, but you shouldn't. You know what? You're gonna love us. You feel that? That's the heart of the man that I fell in love with. It's a good heart, Hector. You're one of the good ones. You're not a coward and you're not a quitter. I know that, I know you. You've always been there for us. I just wish you didn't worry so much. I trust you and Jonathan loves you so much. You know you're a hero to him. Come on, honey, let's get some sleep. You know, things aren't always as bad as they seem. Oh, I love you. I love you so much. You better. Investment banking, please hold. Sky High Investment Banking, please hold. Encryption software, baby, that's where the money's at. I mean, Bill Gates might have had something with those uh, operating systems, thanks, baby. But uh, let me tell you, protection software, that's the wave of the future, heck. Okay, okay, listen. Will you calm down? I can hardly understand what you're saying, man. Can't calm down, heck. You made me a fortune with that last tip. A fortune. Would you please don't call me heck no more? What's that, Heck? Nothing. Listen, businesses are doing great, I hear, huh? Thanks to you and the money you lent me, my company's now in the Fortune 500. You helped me out when none of the other banks would give me a loan. And that, my friend, I will never forget. Listen, Heck, if there's anything I can ever do for you, don't you hesitate to ask. Yeah, how about you quick hacking into my computer and wait for me to call you with some advice? What's that? I didn't catch that. Nothing. Listen, I got a phone call coming in. Talk to you later, okay? Uh, yeah. Bye, Heck. Ah, uh, yes, Hector Rivera, may I help you? Don't you have, like, a secretary or something? <laughs> hey, man. Well, yes, I do, but when her line is busy, the call just comes straight to me. Also, she doesn't feel like picking it up, you know? So how you doing, man? Eh, not too bad, considering. How about you? A little sore, but, you know, I'll survive. Where you staying? Uh, the treetop motel, ever heard of it? <laughs> man, that's not the best joint in town, huh? What's wrong with you? Get in trouble with your old lady or something? Uh, you can say so. What's that noise? What noise? I thought I heard a whip cracking in the background. Oh, man. <laughs> Listen, hold on a second, please. Uh, yes, Shirley. Mr. Hamilton is here. All right, just tell them I'll be right there in a minute. Okay, thanks. Hey, Thomas, I gotta go, man. I got a lot of things to do. Wait a second, I thought I heard something. Oh, come on, please stop playing around, okay? No, really, hold on.
Hey, Hector, sorry, man. No, there was a uh, burglary at this hotel yesterday. Maybe I'll catch the bastard, collect some reward money or something, you know? <laughs> I'm happy you got a hobby, but I got a job right here and I have to take care of it, so I gotta go, man. Hey, thanks for sticking up for me last night, Hector. No problem, man. We're the friends for. Listen, I'll call you later, okay? All right, man. I gotta go. <laughs> Thomas! <laughs> Thomas! Oh, there he is. Hey, Hector. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> brother. Look out there! It's him! Yeah, right. You have the right to remain silent. I'm you warning you! You have to get out there! You hear what I hear? Sounded like a threat to me. You have any idea what the policy is on threatening officers? Well, I believe it's something like this. Do something! Sims homicide. Strangled. Well, no, no. Don't touch anything. I'm on my way. Levy, get a crew. We got a cold one at the Treetop Hotel. Jonathan, you home? I'm dead. Is your mom there? No, sir. What is making all that noise then? Always be quiet. Go ahead, Dad. Did somebody call by the house asking for me? Somebody at all? Um, I don't think so. Did somebody come by the house? Well, who? It's just Mike and a couple of the guys. But they're going home soon. I promise. Okay, listen to me. You know, you don't let any stranger get into the house, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, when your mom gets there, tell her to stay in the house. You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. Dad, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just uh, very busy right now. Okay, love you. I love you too, baby. Love you too. Yes, sir. Is this your car, sir? Yes, it is. You want to see the papers? No, that won't be necessary. You do know you're parked illegally, though, right? Oh, I'm sorry about that. I must have dozed off. You know, it's the heat. You dozed off. You didn't say passed out. Excuse me, I don't think I understand. I'm gonna have to ask you to step out of the car, sir. But listen to me. Now, listen. sir. First, meet us at the secret fortress. Right. 
Well, somebody had fun today. Jonathan! Jonathan! Are you home? Oh, my God. Jonathan! Where is he? I've already punished Jonathan for skipping school today. Nice try, Jonathan. Okay. I'm not even going to deal with this right now. Jonathan! Jonathan! Okay, this isn't funny anymore. Hello? Hector! Let's have a look at those eyes. Okay, look straight up and place your index finger on your nose. Look out! Well, that was way up. Get out of the way! Empty. I saw you outside the hotel. Who are you? It's not for the prey to know the name of the hunter. Why are you doing this? Predators often hunt the weak. Let's see how weak you are. something good this time. Yeah, I got one of those uh, ultimate kickboxing championships. Oh, those are so fake. Fake? Fake nothing. Those are the real deal. They believe in everything in those. This is what I'm talking about. No one can take a hit like that and keep standing. Whatever, man. Check this out. What, is this thing broken or something? What are you talking about? I haven't even put the tape in yet. Possibly mother loving. Jack? Jack, get some of you guys down to level A. Eh? Yeah, there's some whacked out piss going on down there. Stop! Security! Jack, did you bring it? Yep, I'll bring it. Hey, Zorro, that means you too. Well, it's been fun, Hector Riviera. See you at home. He's some guy a bunch of rent cops found brawling in a parking garage this morning, about 20 minutes after this happened. 
So, some tube's fighting it out with his boyfriend over a stupid car or something. What do I care? A cop was found shot in the back in that same parking garage this morning. Is he dead? We don't know. He was rushed to the emergency room, is all I know. The two officers that found this mess fingered Riviera as being the guy at the crime scene when they arrived. And there's more. This was recorded by the security camera in the garage. All right, uh, who's who here? That guy's Riviera. And who's that? Michael Knight? Did we at least get footage of the officer being shot? No, sir. It, it happened off camera. And we're sure this is the guy in the hotel this morning. That's what they said. Whoa! Now that I've never seen before. We might be dealing with some real players here, Levy. Want me to put an APB on this guy? No, no. Uh, get in touch with the med center, find out how that cop's doing. Jonathan! Go! Jonathan! Who are you? What have you done to my family? I have to bring you in a life. Broken, but alive. says you're good, but I think he's wrong. Sims, we got trouble at Riviera's. You gotta be kidding me. This day just keeps getting better and better. Revere at the garage. He should be at home by now. Perfect. Did you give the police his name? <laughs> of course. They're on their way too, then. This is so easy. I don't know why everybody doesn't do this. Something on your mind, my friend? I don't like leaving unfinished business. I could have taken Riviera. I don't understand why you are- Why? It's not your concern. I had him. I could have taken him. Why do you want me to toy with Riviera when I could eliminate him? My business is my reputation. 
If people even suspect that I missed a mark, you may be good, Reaper. That's why I chose you. There is always someone better. Be careful. As for your reputation, you'll get another shot at Riviera. But not until I see him humbled. Don't worry. I never forget. I realize how uncomfortable confusing this must be for you and for that I apologize to you it all seems very unfair and to be honest it is I'm sorry I had to involve you but your man didn't give me any other choice. What I'm doing, it's not better or worse than anything your husband has done. But you'll still call me a villain and your husband a martyr. In my eyes, I am a hero because I don't carry out Orders like some damn machine or mindless hitman. Like my brother, I choose my own destiny and my own path. Your husband is a sheep, just like the others. And he will pay for his crime, just like the others! Relax. You'll be reunited soon enough. Dying together. Nothing is more beautiful. Everything's gonna be all right. I promise you, we'll find mom, okay? Why can't we just call the police? I don't think that's a good idea right now. See, if we go to the cops, they might take you away from me. And I'll die if I let that happen. You, you are everything I have. You're my life. You know that, right? So why are we here? We're gonna go in, use the phone, the computer, call in some favors. And I want you to stand up and watch for me. Really? Like a spy? Just like a spy. Are you cool with that? Yeah. Okay, let's go get mom then. One of the guys just called in. He showed up and he has the kid with him. I just want them to bring me the boy. No! Yes, sir. No sign of anyone, detective. Story of my life. You know the routine. Check the messages, dust for prints, blah, blah, blah. Yes, sir. Sims, what do you make of all this? I wish I knew, Levy. 
Been reading on this Rivera character. No priors, no motive, no enemies that I can figure. His only traffic violation was for hitting a mailbox in 1987. And that was because he was avoiding a damn dog. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> so, uh, nothing weird, huh? All I've got is that he immigrated here in 1985. Got no record of him before that. Immigrated? From where? Argentina. Uh, don't you have work to do or something? Is this what you do at work? Not exactly. What are you doing now? Look, Jonathan, I don't have time for this, okay? Sorry. Hey, Jonathan, come up here. You know about the internet? Yeah. All right, look. I'm looking for him. Hector Riviera, my friend. What can I do for you? Hi, Hex. Cool. Hey, Max, how you doing? I'm going to need to call in that favor you offered me, remember? Oh, yeah, sure. I'll get that info. Here you go, babe. All right, I want you to find everything you can about this guy. Oh, so what do you need that guy popped? Well, I'm not in that business. I'm in the computer business. But uh, maybe I could uh, screw up his bank account for you. <laughs> Dad? Dad? I mean, somebody's here. What do they look like? A bunch of guys in black suits. Max, I gotta go. Listen, you fax information to the office, and I'll pick it up. Hey, heck, look, you work way too hard, buddy. Why don't you come on over and party with me and the girls, huh? Jonathan, look at me. You hide here. I'm gonna go check on those guys. If something happened to me, you go for it. You drive away. You understand? I don't know. You can do it. You watch me do it a thousand times. You turn the key, you push the brake, and you go for the key. You got it. Key? Brake? Give. Oh, okay. You can do it. You got it. Have faith. You have to. doing here? It's called detective work, Mr. Levy. When you follow a trail of clues, hoping to find a perpetrator of a crime. Our man's not home. He's got no other family in the country. There's a very strong possibility he right here. Jonathan! Call for backup. Hold it! I'm sorry I doubted you. I I've just been a little edgy lately. No, it's my fault. I never should have left you alone in the first place. 
<sighs> I'm sorry I let Phil drive me home from the dance. I was wrong. I had so many nightmares about you driving off with other guys. But it's okay. I forgive you. You do? Yeah. Hey, let's never fight again, never. okay? <laughs> what? Hey, hey, what are you? like somebody mopped up the floor with his face. And the other two didn't speak much English, but they were muttering something about a warehouse down by the docks. We'll grab a bunch of guys and get down there. Uh, no, that's no good. Uh, the chief wants us to do this by the book. We gotta have a warrant. Yeah, you take care of that. Max, this is Hector. Heck. Heck. Yes, it's me. Listen, you got any information for me? Uh, sure, I faxed it to your office. Did you get it? Well, I'm not at the office right now. Oh, you party animal. Anyway, the guy on the ID you gave me, well, he doesn't exist. Well, not in this country, anyway. I was able to access the database directory, and the only thing that I found was an ID which showed that he was an employee at a TGI storage warehouse. You got the address for that warehouse? Uh, sure, you got a pen? Give it to me. Thank you. I owe you a big one. Take care. You never call. You never write. You're really starting to piss me off. Get your hands up. I hate it when that happens. Look, I'm not the guy you want. The person you want is right in there. Yeah? I'd almost believe it except for that trail of destruction that seems to follow you around. I don't have time for this, okay? So what's your deal, Riviera? Are you with these guys or what? Give me a break, okay? <laughs> Look, they got my family in there, okay? And they frame me with the Thomas Garcia murder. The rest of your answers are in there. Now you got to believe me, okay? You got to believe me. I'm calling for backup. Don't even breathe. Seven, Rye Beach Avenue. I need some backup. Not bad. 
just give me back my family psycho. I'd say you were the family psycho. Where are they? They're dead, just like you. You lied. Am I? <laughs> You beat the Reaper. What a waste of money. Usually, I choose my investment better. Maybe I should have seen you. Where's my family? Look harder, soldier. Where is my brother? Under the ground. Because of you. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> killed my brother and left me with a reminder for the rest of my life. Every member of your precious team is dead and now it's going to be you. Not yet! My brother! Remember? What did you think? Huh? Did you really think life will go on normally? Oh my gosh. Are you okay? Are you alright? I've been better. Oh. Come on, let's get out of here. 
You didn't expect a full return on a bad investment, did you? See if you can do better. This is excellent, Mrs. Riviera. Thank you. Please call me Nicole. So that's the whole story. I think. If I remember something else, I'll let you know, okay? You think just because this story has taken so long, I won't uh, take you up on that. But uh, I'll be doing paperwork for the rest of my life, so you'll be doing your part too. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next for you guys? Take on the Chinese mafia? Avenge the death of your sensei? What? Probably not. Seems. Let me ask you a question. Why didn't you arrest me the moment you saw me? I gotta tell you, Hector, things weren't looking too good for you. I was gonna haul you in fast and they could say full cavity search. You gotta understand, Hector. Every clue we uncovered pointed straight to you. And then I found out uh, that the cop at the parking garage was patched up before the paramedics even got there. Got me thinking. Well, we'll have your record cleaned up for you. Thank you so much, man. If anything comes up, we'll give you a call. All right. We can't thank you enough. Thank you. Um, let's walk you out. Oh, that's hurt pretty bad. Yeah, pretty bad. Just <laughs> yeah, but look. <laughs> It'll be all right. Okay. Well, thank you for everything. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Look, I gotta go too, okay? Where? Well, I just have to rebuild some bridges. I don't think I can afford another enemy right now. So I'll see you tonight, okay? Okay. Rivera. What are you doing here? Well, uh... Yeah, he's at the door. Oh. We came here to apologize and to talk to you, actually, if you feel like it. Yeah? Come on in. I could use the company.
nothing is more beautiful. Nothing is more beautiful. Nothing is more beautiful. Nothing is more beautiful. Soon and time together. Nothing is more beautiful. Nothing is more beautiful. 